Hey guys, what's up? For my 100th uh, video, I got a battle against a friend of mine. I was Black Ace, or just Black Ace on the Marilyn forums. Anyway, this is a roulette, and it was really, really close. So anyway, um, he has a Jirachi lead, and I have a Napoleon lead, and this is my defensive Napoleon. And he body slams while I just knock off his leftovers, and that knock off really helped helped me in the long run. So anyway, he's predicting the surf, and I knew I should have gone for another um knock off there, but I just wanted to play it safe. Plus, it was like past midnight when we were doing this battle, so I didn't really want to think too much. So now we get now I see he gets set up, and I'm like, oh crap, because he's definitely gonna get this um, both of his toxic spikes up. So I switched to glass score to scare it out, but and I was predicting the switch into a, some sort of flying type or something, so I went for the aerial ace, but he went into a glass score and that really didn't do much against it. So now I knock off on it too and get rid of its leftovers while it uses stealth rock, and of course the fates curse me by giving him both toxic spikes and stealth rocks, but and leave me with nothing in the form of entry hazards. So anyway, um, yeah, I get the power hacks, and now he iron heads, which is like lol, because, uh, even without leftovers, it's like still like a 20 hit KO or something like that. So now I go for the surf while he wishes, and I get power hacks again. And yeah, and now here I grass now, because I was expecting, uh, a switch into tentacle or something. So yeah, now he goes for the wish again, and I just go surfer to play it safe and now he decides to switch into a Latias which is like oh my god yeah that's kinda bad because yeah so now I was predicting something like Draco Meteor or something so I stayed in with Napoleon but he said he was expecting Gliscor so he went with the surf and I just ice beamed the Latias to heck unfortunately it doesn't kill so now he's scouting out what I'm gonna do is, and by using recover and I just surf because I was expecting Rachi or something. And now it's the oh yeah yeah this thing can't do much to me when I see Thunderbolt it's like dang it. And yeah. So now I switch into um Tyranitar and I thought he would predict my pursuit or something, so he would stay in and attack. But instead he switches out and goes back to Rachi, which takes pretty much nothing from Crunch. Because I'm guessing it's uh, physically defensive or something. So now I'm fearing the Iron Head. So I switch out into uh, Salamence while he also switches into Gliscor. Which is a uh, decent match for me because this is a bulky match and I, I know I can take a Stone Edge. And plus I have the Intimidate. So now... um. Uh, I just want to scout out what this thing is going to do, so while he uses Stone Edge, I just uh, go for the Roost. And I know I can take an, uh, another one, so it's safe for me to Dragon Dance up. And at this point, he was like, oh, God, good game, good game, because he told me he had nothing to outspeed and no former priority, so he thought he was pretty much screwed. And now, as he goes into Rachi, I go for the Dragon Dance. Because, yeah, that's what all giant sentiments do, and yeah. So, um, now I just go for the earthquake to kill this thing off. And, yeah, goodbye, Jirachi. What a, you were a pain. Sorry, spasm with the camera. And, uh, next he sends in his Machamp. And,. I went for the Outrage because I was pretty sure that Earthquake wouldn't be a 2 hit KO, seeing as how bulky um, this um, Machamp used to tend to be because it's usually a rest talker. But he lives with like a sliver of HP and this is where Stealth Dogs really would have come in handy. Nah. Anyway, he does manage to get a Stone Edge out, but because this is a bulky man, um, it survives it quite nicely. So now I have to waste another turn of Outrage just killing this thing off, and that's really bad because, um, this is the turret that, um, that Outrage decides to actually end, which is also bad. So now I switch in, um, Houndoom, and I decide to take a chance and try to Earthquake, but no! Luck kicks me in the ass and, um, makes me hit myself, and Dark Pulse just finishes me off. And, yeah... 
Hunter really isn't too much of a problem for me, so I send in Zapdos to outspeed and probably kill it. Because I know pretty much most of the things take uh, neutral damage with Thunderbolt. But then he sends the Latias back in, which I was kind of thinking I should have pressed Hidden Power for, but I didn't really know if it was the right Hidden Power. Anyway, well, um, now he's going to scout again what I'm going to do, and I just pressed Hidden Power because that was my only chance, and I was hoping and praying that it was the right Hidden Power. And yes, it was, which is really nice. Especially since it's life war boosted. Now for some stupid reason I thought that um, Zapdos speed tied with Latias. So I stayed in and tried to hit him power. Hit him power. Like I said it was past midnight. So I wasn't really thinking too clearly. So I'm sending um, Tyranitar again and. Again I thought he would protect my pursuit. But then yeah I switched into Guy Score. Which took nothing from uh, uh, Crunch. So uh, now I'm predicting the Earthquake, so I switch into my Porygon 2 to take the Earthquake, and it does take it very, very nicely with the added bonus of Sound Veil, which means I'm pretty much immune to Sandstorm damage. Yeah. So now I'm pretty sure he's going to be scared off with the um, Ice Beam, but I'm I decide to, be, decide to be stupid and go for the Ice Beam anyway. And uh, yeah, because he's just wearing me down, yada yada yada. So now I just have to be stupid again and to just go for the obvious Thunderbolt, and he just switches back into Gliscor. <sighs> but now I'm actually thinking this time, and I know he's going to switch back into Tentacruel, so I just went for the Recover. And yeah, trying to stave off Poison as long as possible. And, uh, now I was predicting he'd go back into Glide Score, so, um, I went for the Ice Beam. But instead, he just stays in and, uh, yeah, surfs me and makes a giant wave crash on me out of nowhere. And, okay, I'm ranting now, never mind. So, this time I, I know I'm gonna die, so I just leave, uh, Porygon 2 and to die. And, yeah. So next I um I switch in Gliscor hoping I could scare it away with a stab earthquake. But he predicts that and just goes uh for the surf while I just aerial ace whatever. And luckily this Gliscor has a lot ton of HP so I can actually survive a surf. And yeah, lucky for me that um his tentacle is at low enough HP so I can kill it off with an, another aerial ace. Yeah. So now I send in, uh, now he sends in, uh, Hound Doom and just overheats me and overheats and, yeah, and dies and special attack drop and stuff. So now I switch into, uh, Tyranitar and I go for the sub, but I totally forgot that this thing could have super fang so that really took me off guard yeah so now I'm charging up and I think I could survive one turn of toxic so I just go for the focus punch and he goes for the hidden power which is not enough and next I foco punch it in the face and Houndoom just dies yeah um, so now I think I'm pretty much dead from Toxic, but how epic is it that I live with 1 HP? That is determination if you ask me. So now he switches into Latias, I guess predicting the flamethrower, scouting off of the flamethrower or something, and I die from the Toxic. See, if I hadn't, if Tournament hadn't hit itself with confu in confusion, I probably would have won it, but oh well, that's just how it goes. So, good game, Ace. Comment, rate, subscribe, and see you later.